What's up, Kali? It's uh, Jay Cash, back with the, uh, another pickup review from the Replica Sites of China. Uh, this order right now today came from Hip Hop LP, which used to be Hip Hop VP, which used to be Hip Hop IOP. You know, Linda started it all, or at least that's what we think. And uh, so I uh, paid for this one last Friday, and uh, they received a payment, they said, on Saturday. They shipped it out on Sunday or Monday, I'm not sure. And I got here today, so five days, you know, from kind of shipping to receival. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and get my box cutter. But you know me, first of all, I need to get a little something to drink. Today's episode is brought to you by Buddha Beer. This is straight from China, so I got the China package, I got the China beer, feeling real good about it. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this guy right here. And uh, to all you, here you go. Alright, got the, uh, the box cutter. This is the package. Kind of zoom back a bit. Got your regular stuff on top. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. pieces of paper let you know everything was shipped all right so I'm gonna find a good place to cut this box open without jeopardizing the merchandise inside all right you got her open Smells like China inside, just like it always does. Before I start, I'm just going to have one more drink. Alright, only picked up six items. Uh, I dealt with Lisa this time. She was quick with the communication, as I always say. And I'm not lying. Like some of you say, oh, uh, it took me ten days to get a tracking number. You need to get on that website on the chat and you need to harass them. Because they don't give a fuck until, you know, they get harassed. I don't know. I guess they like to be abused and beaten. It's China. I don't know. So... I'm not sure what the first item on top is, but it's packaged very nicely. This is some very good packaging. It's almost like they shipped me kilos of coke or something. That's accepted too. So I'm going to leave this one for last because it's going to take a few seconds to unwrap. I want to get to something a little easier. It looks like the rest of my order came in a shoebox. And once again, if you look at this shoebox, it's just your basic Jordan box. But look at the fucking bubble wrap. Like, they didn't fuck around. Like, this is probably my best packaged order. And I just hope the contents meets the packaging and I'll be 100% fucking satisfied. Because right now I'm, you know, 80% just on the packaging alone. So I'm going to open this guy up. Look at all this fucking bubble wrap right here. You could strangle a small child with this. Oh, see, even the box. Like, this is actually probably one of the best looking boxes I've gotten, too. Like, as, you know, for damage, it's got a little bit on the corner here. Other than that, though, it's, uh, they taped it shut, so open this guy up. Okay, so let's start it off like this. I got a Pandora. Not for me, for somebody else, but it comes with a little bag. I'm trying to take a little more time and show you guys, you know, the things on this stuff. So this is the bag. Good little bag. Just kind of like the one that comes in the store. Good quality. So that's the bag. Then the bracelet comes in this little white box with your Pandora logo. This box is not crushed at all. It's well maintained. Open it up. And you've got a bunch of charms on here. I'm not going to take it out, but I mean, if I can hold it a little closer, you can kind of see what's going on on there. So it's got it's got a little pair of shoes on there, like a little pair of kids' shoes. And it's got some... Uh, honestly, I, I'm not even going to sit here and act like I know shit about jewelry. So, you know what? Here's one more little close-up. I'd take a look at the charms in there. But for 14 bucks or whatever it is, you can't go wrong. Even if you just take some of the charms off and put them on your actual Pandora or something, you get a shit ton of charms on these things. It's all the way around, so 
that's that. I'm going to put that back in the packaging. Getting a little parched again, so excuse me as I partake in the sipping of this beverage right here from China as well. Alright, um, I'm not sure what's going on here with the packaging. I think they packaged a certain amount of items together with other items, but that's okay. I'm going to get to these hats. I uh, ordered one hat for a buddy of mine, and then they sent me a free hat. And you, With the free hats, they're just going to send you whatever the fuck they have the most stock of. So, I mean, it doesn't even matter to me. I didn't ask for anything specific. I got it for paying Western Union, but it's a Coke Boys hat. Uh, I'm not sure how they're supposed to look or what's supposed to be on the inside, but you got your Coke Boys logo. It's a black snaps underneath the brim. Not too shabby, but I'm going to put that away right now. And, and the uh, free hat that they sent me. San Francisco 49ers. So, um, to me, this is a fucking ugly hat. I mean, it's got way too much going on for my liking, but <clears throat> I'm sure I could find somebody who would enjoy it. Anyway, on the inside, you've got the NFL. It's got the uh, red snaps with the green under brim again. And, uh... Not too much going on under there. Pretty good. But like I said, it's a free hat. And I just told them they were going to send me a free gift. And I mean, after getting that weed chain with Retmall, you could st I'm still upset about that. So if I would have just said send me the free gift, they would have sent me like a fucking keychain too. I can get more use out of a hat than a keychain. So that's that. That's the free hat I got this time. Uh, this item. It's a Michael Kors purse. It's pretty big. Comes in a... Uh, plastic and everything. Inside the plastic it also comes in kind of like a sleeve and this is like a dust bag I guess. It says MK on the front as you can see right there. And quite a big bag right here so let me see if I can just back up a bit. We've got the First right here, we've got the uh, straps getting in the way, but you got the logo there. Let's see if I can open it up right here. See how the zipper is. I'll show you the inside because they always have the insides designed. So take a look at the inside. You got a bunch of MKs and whatnot. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty sturdy. Not too shabby at all. So that's that. Anybody trying to get. Uh, somebody a purse I mean $37 I don't know what the retail value is but I'm thinking it's up in excess to $600 or something but uh, that's that looks pretty good feels good I'm not sure you know I've heard guys say good things about the purses so first one purchased and uh, pretty happy with that now the last two items were the ones that were packaged really well um, where I can get these ones too. I can get them open without damaging anything. Got a big hole there. Okay. Uh, one more thing I wanted to note. I did not have a single item out of stock with this order. That's only happened now. This is the second time. I only ordered six items, but regardless, um, nothing was out of stock. So, I mean, Pretty happy with hip hop LP or you know whatever they are. First shirt I got. I'm not gonna take this one out of the packaging because it's kind of like right in there. But you've probably seen it. Uh, it's the brand Uncut, and it's uh, it looks like the LA Raiders or the Oakland Raiders, whichever you prefer them as. It looks like them, but it's got like a pirate on it and it says pirates. You can get this in a hat too, but uh, I just got the T-shirt. I'll uh, I'll post in the uh, in the link in the description how it fit. I ordered it to size up like I do with everything. Uh, next item, I'll take this one out. It's a little easier. It's got a little fuzz on it and whatnot, but this is a as you can see a polo by Ralph Lauren. 
It's got um, your $105 price tag, as all do. This is just kind of like a nice soft sweater. It's not heavy or anything as for, for like a spring day. So this is uh, this is like thirty dollars and uh, looks pretty good. I'll tell you how it fits again in the description. I'm not gonna be trying any of this stuff on, but once again, everything's been ordered a size up. And the last item once again, you've got your Ralph Lauren. It says. XL for the uh, right there it says XL this guy right here is a jacket let's see if I can get back a bit so you've got the uh, United States of America this one has a little bit of connected stitching on it too just like my other polo did but like I said I don't mind going in there and taking this stuff off but uh, it's the Olympic version you got the uh, your horsey Right there. On the back, you've got a uh, bigger logo. And this is a material kind of like a, a heavier spring jacket. It's really good material, actually. Feels really good. And uh, once again, order to size up. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, leave them, uh, leave them there. And other than that, I'll try to be making another pickup, I guess, um, in two weeks or so. But uh, you know what? Everything came pretty good, other than a little bit of connected stitching, which I'll sit on for a while. I'll think about, you know, it happens with polo a lot, I guess. So, I mean, I'll get them out, and uh, maybe I'll go back to Hip Hop LP. Maybe I'll go back to Rep Mall, you know, MK. I know Reincar there has been talking about um, AliExpress, but I, I just ain't and down with that yet, you know. I don't feel like getting one or two items here and there. I mean, I want to get a nice big shipment and... Uh, you know, get it all at once, but uh, for those of you who are hustling off AliExpress and whatnot, big ups to it. And for those of you who are still on the rep sites, big ups to that too. It's uh, Jay Cash for the Collie, signing off. Peace.